Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Thirsty Thursday. We are literally right around the corner from training camp opening up, and I, I, I couldn't be more excited because we're going to be talking about practice not not the game, not the game. We gonna be talking about practice. We sitting here, I supposed to be the franchise player and we in here talking about practice. Talking about practice. And the big storyline, here's the biggest question that I have going into training camp is, will we lose another one of the Dakisms? Dakisms. You know, I came across a video from about five years ago you know, there's always something with Dak Prescott that only gets used against Dak Prescott, and then you never hear it again, okay? I don't know if you remember when it used to be Dak Prescott after his rookie year. He was dinking and dunking, dinking and dunking. In fact, I find this one actually kind of funny because I have to play this clip of, uh, you, you'll see. You, you'll listen, just listen to this one. It's Carson Wentz. It's been six months that he's been dealing with the stress fracture in his back. I looked a lot. When the normal there. recovery time is six to 12 weeks, I said, is it time to panic about Carson Wentz? <laughs> Even Tony Romo recovered in 11 weeks from a fractured back. Two fractured transverse vertebrae, 11 weeks. And so Eagles Nation... They're coming out and they're just like, oh yeah, dink and dunk deck. Now, now I want you to dink do and dunk deck. Dink and dunk deck. If you think or have said dink and dunk deck, please stand up. Stand up. Come on, come on. Man, sit your ass down. That is about the dumbest thing out there. That shows how ignorant you are. And that goes for our cowboy fans that are out there as well. Dink and dunk? You know what? Because this is the one that really got me. Is it time to panic about Dakota Prescott, who can't throw the ball more than five yards down the field? You know what's amazing about that, Mr. Eagle fan? It's kind of funny that thus far, and I, I, I tell you what, I will give you that Dak had a sophomore slump when we had injuries that second year mm -hmm. from the Atlanta game on where he hurt his hand, the numbers weren't good. And then going through the Tennessee Titan game before we got Amari Cooper, I'll admit it, he looked far from an NFL quarterback. Some games not even 200 freaking yards. But you know what's amazing about that, Mr. Eagle fan? Even with that, with my dink and dunk, as you guys say, yep. Dak Prescott in his career has averaged 7.4 yards per completion. Don't sound like much, right? You know, the glass man, Carson Wentz, only averages seven. Hmm. Take a look right here. Yards per attempt. 7.4, 7, Carson Wentz. And I tell you what, if Dak is a dink and dunker, let's take a look at who else is a dink and dunker in the NFL. Because what we're looking at right here is yards per completion. Okay? Aaron Rodgers, 7.4, the exact same thing as Dak Prescott? Are you kidding wow. me? Wow. Aaron Rodgers. I know you got burnt up last night on Game of Thrones. Maybe we won't see you this year. You're a dink and dunker? Who else is on that list? Ooh. Let's see. Derek Carr is worse? What? What? I, I, I'm going to leave it right there. But you know what's amazing is they used that to denigrate Dak Prescott and never used it again. When was the last time you heard him talk about Dinkin' and Duncan? Because the worst season that he had was 6.8, his second year in the league, right? Would you believe that Joe Burrow last year 
averaged 6.3. Did anybody say that Joe Burrow turned into a dink and dunk quarterback last year? I, I, I don't remember that. Kyle Murray was 6.5. You had Justin Herbert was only 6.9. Justin Herbert, you know, one of the guys that got in there in the top of the list. Yeah, Dak was 7.7 last year. Um, so, yeah, and even Pat Mahomes was only 7. But you did not hear them talking about any other quarterback. Trevor Lawrence is only 7.1, mind you, and he just got $55 million. Baker Mayfield, 7.1 last year. Jalen Hurts, 7.2. Jordan Love, 7.2. Josh Allen, 7.4. Somehow, Dakota Prescott, 7.7. Hmm. Be that as it may, that went away after talking about Dak Prescott. So I'm wondering, will interceptions, will interceptions go away with Dak Prescott? Because that was what everybody was talking about last year. And mind you, we're talking about now you can't pay Dak Prescott because it hamstr hamstrings a team after Trevor Lawrence just got $55 million. Right? Only Dak Prescott. Only Dak Prescott. You know, then it was, you know, empty calories. Of course, those games don't matter. So just let me remind you where we were last year going into training camp because I'm curious – if they're going to count interceptions in practice for Josh Allen since he was second behind Sam Howe with 18, and if they're going to count Jalen Hurts, who had the same number of interceptions that Dak Prescott had last year as well. Day two of Dallas Cowboys training camp brought the quarterback you. to the forefront. Yep, just two days shy of his 30th birthday, Dak Prescott at the podium today at a time where his career could be at a crossroads. Let's go back to sports anchor Nate Ryan in Oxnard, California for more on number four. Nate? Yeah, hey, sees what's going on. Happy Thursday night to you. Dak Prescott paid like a top 10 quarterback on paper. Certainly seems that way, but the statistics last season would not suggest that. Led the league in interceptions last season, did Prescott. And the interceptions are what everybody wanted to talk about earlier this afternoon at the podium. Actually, his performance in practice the last two days may be teetering on the negative side. Prescott throwing two interceptions in two days, including one earlier this afternoon to defensive back Nishan Wright. Now, the hope for Prescott this season is that the change of Mike McCarthy to calling plays will take a little bit more pressure off Prescott, and he won't have to throw the ball as much. Prescott, even earlier this month, said at a training camp that he, at a football practice camp, rather, that he would not throw more than 10 interceptions this season. That was his promise to the media earlier this afternoon at the podium. Of co course, he was asked about it doubling down. I am going to lessen my interception numbers. I am going to lessen my interception numbers. Uh, that is a guaranteed. Um, but we're trying to gain chemistry here. We're trying to be aggressive. As I said, that's who our coach is. And so uh, and that's who I am. That's, that's the confidence I've gained in myself. And I've worked so hard to be able to, to have this confidence and be able to make the throws that I'm making. If it continues every day, come back to me. And yeah, it might change my, my mood a little bit. You're the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. You get that spotlight. Hey, for reference, two days, two interceptions for Dak Prescott. He hasn't thrown a touchdown pass. Meanwhile, his backup, Cooper Rush, he's thrown no interceptions and two touchdown passes. Certainly, Rush has looked like the better quarterback for just two days, though, <laughs> of training camp. What a beautiful night here in Oxnard. We decided to take it off the football field and take you out to the pier tonight. How about it, guys? Very okay, so there was the daily... Dak Prescott interception watch in training camp. And all of the talking heads and everything else were going crazy. Oh, Dak Prescott, man, he threw it into the interception in practice, man. He, oh, but suddenly, here it is, Josh Allen, second in the NFL, one of the most turned over players. If I think he is the most. I believe Trevor Lawrence is right behind him. In like the last five years, but ain't nobody talking about turnovers. Nope, nobody's talking about turnovers. So I'm wondering if there will be any interception talk about any quarterbacks in practice. Because we sitting here, I'm supposed to be the franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. 
practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. practice. Not a game. Not, not a game. game. Not, not, a game. Not, not the game. We talking about we practice. We talking about practice. And the guy literally said that Cooper Rush was the better looking quarterback. Yeah. And Dak Prescott guaranteed that he was only going to throw. He was not going to throw 10 interceptions, and he threw nine. Shout out to Dak Prescott. All right, good people. We'll see what the storylines are this year. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Isn't that why you're here? here?